Hey guys, Gabriel from the Disciples here, and today we have a very special podcast. So we are actually recording a type Tuesday on a Tuesday because it's late as usual. Mm-hmm. And so today we have with me. Uh, so introduce yourself, guys. Hey guys, it's Henry. What's up, the guys? Best, yeah. The best UK player now, officially. <laughs> by, by, by pure <laughs> maths and logic, you can't disagree with it. This guys, we're gonna tear unstoppable Bancroft. Boy. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Leon here. And uh, what's up? I'm Moffat, and I'm the only one that didn't top this weekend. <laughs> well, you're it's not going right? to. Oh, Sam. Sam. <laughs> Poor Sam. Do we have really much from Sam these days? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But, but yeah, so guys, many things we have today. Uh, it was a double regional weekend in the UK. Uh, the, uh, the other three guys played both of them. I only played Cheltenham on Sunday. And we did pretty well. Uh, Henry won one, got second in the other. Leon got the top four in the first one, right? So far in the first yeah, top, one. Top four and then top eight. Uh, Moffat, you showed up. Uh... I got, wait, no, I did get two very good achievements. And Saturday, I was the bottom X2. <laughs> Sunday, I was the second bottom X2. So Progress. I've only got to play it's about probably... like 10 more regionals to get to that top eight yeah. in the X2 bracket, apparently. Just try a bit harder and you get nap next time, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, uh, what's the order? I didn't actually read video chat before I started. <laughs> Oops. Deck choices. Deck choices, right? All right, all right. So, guys, let's go in order. Henry, go, why you played kids? Yes, I played Adventure Brackets. I think it's the best, like, Brave deck. At this point, I know your deck is, is very spicy and very interesting. I think for, like, regionals, the deck's really good. Because, like, half the deck, like, 22 cards are starters, which is kind of crazy. And like, when you resolve kid combo, you win, and that happened the whole weekend. <laughs> so yeah, the deck was really good. <laughs> yeah, no. I suppose with the, with the brave stuff, it just makes the prank kids resolve a lot more than it used to, right? Yeah, yeah. So before it was like you either died to like an ash, unless you had either poly or sometimes talents. And now you've got seven cards, which a help you play through hand traps, and b give you like a non prank kid push. And it's it's so absurd going second as well. It makes like going second crazy. Like even this weekend when I was losing die rolls, it didn't matter because you would open like two hand traps the right kids too often. They're like, "Yep, okay, I win." <laughs> How many times did I'm curious your opponent ash your first kid when you had Griffin? Um, every time they had ash. Yeah, it's because usually you don't even get two ashes, right? Because like usually faithful adventure chain blocks the kid. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Usually... Normally. Like, yeah, you're right. I don't know the, the way the combo usually goes, right? You normal summon the kid, like you, you you go right, you get yeah. RMS here, and you normal summon the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you summon Griffin like after you summon the kid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, we in a prank it's combo video. Yeah. Some <laughs> sometimes they they wouldn't ash be faithful and they'd just ash the kid, but it doesn't really make a difference to be honest. Yeah. Now you get like a you have to like try to ash the second kid basically, or you have to ash the doodle. It's such a weird dynamic. Yeah, yeah, uh, I agree. The card is absurd. Like, uh, I, I'm deadly team it, but like every time that I drew right, it just felt like I was so ahead. It's it's broken. I uh, I, I played a game against Betty. Sorry, Betty. Where I went second, and he ended on floor judgment ash follow up, and my hand was right, right, right. Uh, be water go. Be a quick spell and a kid and a broke his board because rides is just broken. <laughs> just, you have to negate it, like, yeah, yeah. for some, uh, it, it's pretty silly, but yeah. um, but yeah, so Frank, it does very well, like, in general, in the UK. Uh, it's probably yeah, there's, really, a lot, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people, yeah, 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 and it's and it's good in time. Uh, you, you have to bring it up, sadly. I did win yes. two games on Saturday because of time, none on Sunday, thankfully. Um, it's it's unfortunately part of the game and. You know, playing a deck which win, which wins in time is kind it, of it's, it's just stress playing against prankets because it's like so every 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 minute of waste, I'm sweating. I'm like, wait, <laughs> if we go to game three, we're screwed. <laughs> like, I don't even get a chance to like try to break it. I just lose in time. So like, exactly, you play so fast against it. And the faster you play, the more you fuck up. Yeah, I agree. Saturday round uh, five or six, I played against Tri Brigade, and he. The game one, he went first, and I won. But it took 25 minutes, and I was like, ah, you have no more win conditions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, um, did, Gabe, did you see much like prank, um, prank kids on DB playing before the uh, event? I knew it was popular. I don't think it's less popular as it is in the UK, like, in general right now. I just think a lot of the UK people are playing it. 
But yeah, I think it's like top three decks on rep most represented. It's just because like the format's so broad and there's no defined form defined tournaments yet. Like this was the first week of Lego Banlist. Because we we've been like we know the banlist for like two weeks, but nothing happened. So the only event mm -hmm. we had was like the PPG. It's like a bit, it was, the PPG was like a day after the list. Yeah. So the, here's how where we're starting to see like how the list is adapting to things and things are changing. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Even if it's probably a bad format again, uh, it's probably at least new. Yeah. Yeah. I, I suppose I suppose everybody knows that Braves is like the best engine and it's looking for the top top three decks to play Braves in, and Prank Kids is one of them. So yeah, it's mad. If you look at at uh, Sunday's top cut, it has six decks of Brave cards. Of it. Yeah. Of it. Crazy. And then, and then Saturday had five, I think. And all of them being like more or less different decks, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. It's mad, it's mad. Now, Saturday's top it was cringe. It was five Brave decks, Leon, and then Flunder Eldridge. So, literally, <laughs> it was either you play Brave, you you build to beat Brave, or you're Leon. Hey, what did I say, man? <laughs> you, you need to play Leon. I guess that's this go. Uh, I wonder what deck did you play, Leon? Uh, three guesses and half. Oh, yeah. Of course, <laughs> played, played the deck I've been playing for years. And actually, yeah, actually worked this time. Like I've been playing Dragoon, uh, Mech Knight Invoked, and it's just been a while. Like um, try not to try not to get the deck to lose to itself of like actually drawing consistently. And with that like, Protoss out of the format, some of the more broken like birds combos, etc. It's actually found space to breathe a bit. And now there's even more combo decks, but it seems like the combos ain't properly refined. And I felt like I got kind of lucky in some of the senses of some of the combos combo decks where they didn't know what to negate from my plays and I was able to break through or they didn't open optimal and I was able to lose to like just a single Nibiru etc so but yeah it worked out um Dragoon, people didn't see Dragoon coming every time I was over Verte and they saw the red eyes fusion in the eyes just <laughs> the sort of the eyes <laughs> yeah. and, and also the fun fact that like Dragoon is just very good into prank kids. like red eyes fusion breaks the whole prank it's <laughs> it's very good it's very good I was well, uh, slight spoiler, I did play Leon over the weekend. Unfortunately, a Dragoon did not come down at any point during the games. Well, <laughs> the one time he did, the one time I had a hand that could play, he ended on the Bower Bark, which makes his cards, all his pranks, not be able to just be destroyed by card effects for the turn. So Dragoon lost a bit of power because it can't just ring a destruction and everything. So I had to try and try and go for a Purgatrio land, which I couldn't play through. So, but yeah, he, he played around it well anyway. Yeah. I, I swear, like, like if people are doing, especially the lines that play around Ogre on pranks that don't end on Bow Wow, if your opponent just activates Red Eyes Fusion yeah. out of the blue, you just get, like, destroyed. Every game, I was like, pranks, please draw Ash, please draw Ash. I'm scared of hard activate Red Eyes Fusion. Yeah, I think <laughs> I had drew Red Eyes Fusion two or three times on Saturday, and, like, three or four times on Sunday, and it never got Ashed, and it was just... In, 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 like I said, like the, the luck of it not getting ashed because it pretty much just carried and just blew out the, the blew out the game. I think against um, Sword Soul, I opened four hand traps, terraforming, and then a top deck Red Eyes Fusion, and I had a token character on the board and Red Eyes Fusion resolved. So it was just like, it was just madness. <laughs> Hard deal with it. Nah, no, I'm glad to see uh, invoked uh, actual nice invoked, not. Uh, Beta invoked to well. uh, the, the, the alpha, chat, no, chat normal someone Alistair. Nah, the virgin, the dear soul of reserving. Yeah, reserving fuck versus it. the chat purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Using Alistair as called by the grave for a win. The beta thing. Alistair is a killing tool. Men's a, men's, men's a man on a mission. Speaking of men on a mission, uh, we played a pile, Moffat. We played uh, yeah. a lot of cards. Of cards. Uh, I guess. Uh, the, the, would you want to go over like, the backstory of how it came to be? Oh uh, yeah. Um. So okay. So well, we played. Oh, I don't know. Because everyone can say that we played Sword Soul. We played Madouchi. We played like a normal deck. Whenever I, I need to say, I need to say I played Brave, Artifact, Souls, Souls. Enforcer, <laughs> Dragons, Mer Mer Weir, Aurora Dawn. It's just like cards. It's it's a lot of engines into one. It's kind of like one of those pile decks. Um, main idea, I guess, it came from well, the OCG has a, a, fame, uh, a deck that's common there called Brave Tiny, but it's very different from what we have here because they have like Galaxy Tomahawk and and an Olion and Dang Long. So once Brave cards were out, we started like testing it. 
Right, it was that, that weekend at Barney's on, on the Edison Cup weekend. We just had like a table, had like oh a setup, a, a table setup that just had like this deck <laughs> full with like twenty five proxies, and it was just random people sitting there doing just hands the solitaire stuff. area. <laughs> you just go in between rounds. It was like you, you saw the deck, and it's just someone was just struggling to like realize which of the proxies were which. Like that was me yeah. every time. Oh, like, I just people I, felt, I struggled so, so hard to learn the deck yeah. in that moment. But some even even with that like, difficulty of like realizing what cards were and what it was doing. I was so you had to, like, like, so you had like a virtual telltale. I was like, "What's that a proxy for?" It's like, "No, that's actually in the deck." But yeah, um, so we started with that deck as a basis because we realized how good Hulk was, how good Red Rose Dragon was. Uh, but after a couple of things, we real- I didn't really. I felt that I was just playing like a, a wo- different sword so deck, and I and I really like Marimar. <laughs> Uh, Marimar is one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I saw, oh, you can go for the the, the Virgin, uh, Yazi summon Taie approach, or you can summon Marimar, and you can see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of how this deck started. Uh, and yeah, uh, it does a lot of stuff. We should have the deck profile up tomorrow, I think, at 4. Uh, yeah. I'm excited for you guys to see the list. See if tomorrow or Thursday, one of the two. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Uh, because it's a banger of a list, I'm proud of that one. Uh, me and Moffat played some cards different. Because... <laughs> what card did you I think, play? Okay, Moffitt? so basically, Gabe is uh, a perfectionist. If you go deck building, I would say, and I'm a fuck it, I'm gonna kill them this turn kind of guy, and I'll throw in what I need to do to do it. Um, so I took the the optimistic approach of playing more bricks in the deck, basically. So, for instance, Gabe wasn't maining Scythe where I was. That's one example. Um, and then probably the biggest difference was that I played Colt Wing and Gabe didn't. Um, and I was tempted to, but then I realized like Colt Wing that she was winning me so many games going second because of the power Needle Fiber has when it resolves. So I still stand by this, even though we still disagree if we should play Colt Wing or not. It's not one of my... Like I don't consider it, I'm just being tapped. I actually think it's it's sick. Because Man's think about it, okay? Think about it. So say you you don't open any hand traps against Sword Soul, okay. but you draw droplets and there's like the free and then there's the there's like the free big synchros at least, right? Maybe a hand trap and then a blackout. And okay, say you have rights, so the rights is gonna bait the, the blackout because they're gonna pop the, the token yeah. of the continuous and it's like okay, how do I deal with all these monsters? Um, at the same time with just resolving the help basically because unless you have like Rose and Fashuda or Rose and Griffin like the you know the, the plays are s- somewhat like limited to killing them as well as setting up some of the gates or one of the two so basically resolving Colt Wing is just game like through anything I've decided I never know the full path but I'm like if I get to Hulk <laughs> and it resolves, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna mill. I'm gonna pop some stuff. It's just it's, it's game. That's so ex- basically, I like to take the easy approach to, to Yu-Gi-Oh I, here. I'm extremely curious because I've never actually seen you play this deck. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I I don't know if I'm excited or afraid. Every time, uh, I think every, good, every time I've seen you play the deck, I've just seen you dag the Verte DP. I haven't seen like a proper full board. <laughs> or just see Verte dag the DP. Well, yeah, mm. literally, so you can face the, 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 the 60-card PK, basically. Like. That, that, honestly, <laughs> like, the way that it actually worked out for me, I was, like, never comboing through Hulk. Like, um, I was literally just playing PK with, like, Cool by the Grave or something to get through to the stage of making Dagda and Verte or Verte and Fusion Destiny. Like, right. uh, most of my matches was just DP control. Like, it was, it, it was crazy. It, it, it's funny how you kind of play the same deck, but it goes a bit different depending on how you try to approach, how you try to go about mm-hmm. your turns. But it's cool. Uh, that, that is very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, I won't spoil too much. You guys will have to watch me rambling for half an hour tomorrow. <laughs> but it will be worth it. It will be worth it. It's actually very fun. So... Yes, I love the way that you had to set your dominance by. Not only having a power, but having a double sleeve power. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, it was oh, so funny. Uh, the whole weekend, I was oh, still got it. Got it. The whole weekend for, it, yeah. for Sunday. Yeah. Every every just every like, time struggle. watching games cool. matches, every time he had to pick up his deck, I had to comedy. restrain myself from like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this this is the deck. It's an yeah. absolute chunker. No, no, the yeah, pile doesn't do it justice. I was watching Gabe dinner. I played Gabe on Sunday. I would search, picked up half his deck, looked through it. 
second half. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. I, I literally can't. Like, it's so hard to do this with like, the whole deck. I put it down half. I look through it. I'm like, oh shit, it's not here. I look to the other half. <laughs> shit, it's not here. Go I'm back so to the original one. one. So oh, yeah, you... it's Draco back. Like, <laughs> you have a deck check in your deck, must have had a field day, man. I was so shook. Nah, because uh, me and Betty had a deck check. <laughs> And I'm no, like, no. I'm screwed. I wrote this list on a car. There's <laughs> no way there's not a single mistake in like 60 cards. And he got a game loss. I didn't. See? I'm just better. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I wrote oh, Betty. The worst yeah. thing about this deck is literally just searching yeah, for oh it. And it just takes so long to like resolve effects. Because yeah. <laughs> just get through the one offs after one offs. Like. Yeah. Now, uh, at least it has a win conditioning time. I never actually did it this weekend, but it has a win conditioning time. It's it's kind of like prank it in a way. Oh, well, via Cupid Pitch. Yeah, or... Pitch just randomly burns for 800. And you're like, yes. oh, okay. Yeah, Megalith strategy coming in strong. <laughs> nah, it, it was sick. Uh, okay, so I guess we can, you guys can start on Friday because you all went to your place, right, Moffat, on Friday? Yep, yep, indeed. So the classic double, double regional weekend in reading although actually it wasn't just reading this time but uh, i have a rule basically where like i only travel to regionals within like two hours drive from reading basically because mm -hmm. i just cba to wake up earlier than we have to which uh we already did wake up fairly early on saturday but i think it's a friday night the guys came around to mine normally we go to like order shop locals on the friday but i don't know it, it just kind of takes up the whole night so we don't get any like testing yeah. or like nice food or whatever did get some food, although it took a long time to come. Sam was not happy about that. <laughs> he asked like 10 times. Was, every time was, was that West food? West food? He was like a child. <laughs> I mean, are you all surprised? No. But... I mean, I've, I've, never, I've never heard him that bad before. Like He was, he was, he was, he was really hungry. He was man. hungry. And then, yeah, so we set out Saturday morning, trekking to Cardiff, literally cross country for a Yu-Gi-Oh event, right? Um, and it's oh, Firestorm Games. Drive? It's two hours, just literally just about two hours um, over the, the nice bridge into the foreign land of Wales. Into the foreign where land. Where you can't read all the signs anymore. <laughs> we need Tristan to translator. <laughs> does Tristan actually speak well? I think. Yeah, he's yeah, Welsh. He does. <laughs> I, I knew he's well. I don't know. I don't actually know. Most people, people speak Welsh. 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 <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay well yeah either way we got to cardiff it was the new venue the first time i've been to the new venue had either of you guys been to the old venue before uh, no i don't um, think so it's another tesco regional the, the cardiff one the... no that's newport oh that's newport okay so this one's cardiff there's always been a really big store because they do like war games and tabletop games as well um but they'd got a new store i think over covid so this was the first time at least i'd seen it and it was honestly really really incredible right yeah, it's really nice yeah. So I was, I was speaking to one of the guys there, and it used to be a car dealership, which is why the venue was like huge, huge, because it was, it was big, <laughs> it was big, and it was like well used. The space, like they had all the open area for the, where the tables were to fit, like what well, probably had like a hundred tables and total. I think they probably could have fit more people to be honest. Yeah, so, so we had it was like a one forty, one fifty man regional, and there was like a Pokemon locals upstairs as well. <laughs> I'm not sure. It was like, it was like 20 that. tables for, for like Pokemon. I was like, what? That's pretty bad. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. And then they yeah. had the vendor area at the back, right? This, yeah, the yeah. vendor area at the back, which oh, didn't have a, the a... Enchantress crin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you were playing two Enchantress on Saturday, right? Yeah, on Saturday. You couldn't find you couldn't the find third. The but um, yeah, the venue was really nice. Even the toilets like were just like hotel toilets. They were really <laughs> nice. Uh, it was, it was a, and then on top of that, they did have like a cafeteria as well. So they had like, you could get like burgers, chips, shit like that inside a Yu-Gi-Oh venue by the same company that's running the tournament, which I don't think many others, yeah. if any, yeah. do that in the UK. Just, just brotherhood, so. really. Mini oh, brotherhood. of course, of course. How could I forget? Shout out yeah, to Mike. And, uh, I think for, for regional venues, it's 100% the best up I've ever been to. I think it'll be hard to top that. When, when you sit down at a regional and you have like space to like, Put like deck, arms out, like a deck box. Deck box to the side. Like life pad. Oh. Deck box to the side rather than in your bag kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, or on your knees. It, it, it's just having space between you and the other person because uh, there's some events you play because I mean, some, sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh players are also uh, big. Uh, so you, you sit here and like the, the other person's like like 
Or how close are you? you? Right? Oh, I, hate, I hate it. I hate Social it. distancing. I'm like, no. Nah, it's, it's cool. Every picture that I saw from Cardiff got me jealous because like, it really looked like a nice venue. Mm-hmm. And then that massive screen with the time as well. There's no, oh, yeah. There's yeah. no one like, seeing the time. But... It's like nine screens like all like combined together. Like You're doing like the TV stops and stuff like that. Like, and then I think they had mini screens, up, mini screens upstairs and to the side. So like, you no, not seeing the time anyway. So that was in, Ch- in, in Cheltenham, and I had to use my watch because they didn't have a timer. Yeah, same. I was like, all right, timer, 40 minutes. Let's go down. <laughs> But the only the only bad thing about uh, Cardiff was that wait before the start of each round, uh, which was a bit too much, I think. Because basically, if for those of you who have been in the remote, remote jewels and remote YCS, you get like a nice little five minute timer when your parents go up. But they had that after parents went up in a real tournament, which was like I don't think it takes that long to yeah. sit down in a hundred man odd regional. The event was long. I think it lasted from like. 10 50 to around eight o'clock like it, as well. yeah, yeah. yeah it was late rounder to be fair which which does take time and we had a lot of people and i think and it was the first regional at that place as well so like i'm not taking any like like nothing against it it was just it was long it was yeah long. They, they could have removed the five minute thing i think that yeah. was probably a bit too much but apart from that it was really well run and uh, do you want to go over like you know how the rounds were, or just summarize your guys's tournament? Yeah, I could quickly go. I'd say the first half was a bit shaky. I lost round one to Flanders because uh, game one and three I opened no hand traps and no out to barrier statue, and that pretty much shuts down my whole deck. My only play was to normal summon Alistair and try and crash with it and try to do something main phase two. But uh, game great, three, great vibe to start the weekend. Yeah, no. Just lose your twice. But, but it was even better because he had the the Harpy's Feather Storm as well, as, as well as as well as the Barrier Statue. So even though I cleared the Barrier Statue, yeah, still not. Yeah. So sorry, was... sorry. Can we can we just stop for a second? So you you're playing Flunderies. You, you have an Engine Monster Floodgate and Engine Trap Floodgate. So you add another Engine Monster Flood. So well, yeah, technically an Engine Monster Floodgate and another Trap Floodgate. Yeah. The deck is like fifty oh, percent Floodgate. It's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that was a loss, and then managed to like win it out throughout the rest of the day. Like I think it went round two was Adam Emancipator, round three was Shadow Dinos, which was pretty lucky because game three my opponent misplayed and could have gone for game and didn't, so I was able to win that. Then round four my opponent didn't show up, <laughs> and then after that it was like going into like a lot, quite a few of the brave combo decks. Yeah, I think it was quite a few brave combo decks, and then my last round was against the uh, against the uh, OTK deck. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was that was definitely a theme of the weekend. That the further along in tournament you went, top tables was just brave. Oh yeah, no, I played I played Alpha as well, sword, so. Oh yeah, yeah that was that was the one I was missing. But yeah, and then yeah, the there was the brave combo deck with the punk engine. And then a tiny brave combo deck, and then yeah, yeah Nista. Pretty good. Mine was um, pretty standard, to be honest. I played two tri brigade decks, one with brave cards in it, uh, which was yeah. pretty pretty interesting. Yeah. How? How? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. It didn't do nothing. It got to A to gate, I guess. Um, how do you like play? Like, do you need two carers? Um, so he was playing a very big bird engine as well. Oh, it's like a br- okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. More sense. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, like, how yeah. do you play without your normal summon? Well, like, I'm sure yeah. I like. That's how. That's how. <laughs> but no, it was it was cool. Um, he went desires. I was like, yeah, sure. Right. Sorry. What? <laughs> what's what's happening? <laughs> no fear. No fear. But no. So uh, I played two two tri decks, uh, two sword soul, um, the Atignista deck that Leon played, a uh, math mech, which was. Very scary. I nearly lost that game because I didn't know what any of the cards did. I was like, read please, read please, read please. I let him summon um, Cybers Wicked, which protects by card effects, I believe. Oh, I was like, ah, I didn't know this card existed. <laughs> Cringe. Cube card. Um, yeah, yeah, actual cube card. And obviously Phantom Knights, which I lost to. You were 7 0, right? To the last round? Yes, I went 7 0 um, up until the last round. Played against uh, Phantom Knights. I uh, didn't see a kid. Game pre, which was rough, but it, it happens sometimes. The twelve percent, you. Yeah, 
It'd be twelve percent. I think it's it's less actually because I was going second by game. <laughs> you, you, you take out Roxy's out, I imagine, right? So. Yeah, so I take out one Roxy's and one place going going second. Uh, yeah, it's just very awesome. Yeah. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> my tournament was. I uh, I think I, so. I remember I won. I lost round two against Striker. So I, I, I don't know. I think I at least think that the, the matchup is quite hard against the Striker variant, which is like a hand trap variant. Um, like it, I just yeah, it was a really peak match. It drew like the good hand traps against the the hand I had. It was I had like the broken hand. It was like Rose Hauk, but I think he uh, so Rose um, Brave. He ghost ogred the fateful and then. Um, Skullmeister, the uh, the Rose Dragon, so I was kind of like, ah, Skullmeister. Yeah, my Skullmeister. Is going. Are you trying to be a Witcher Meister? Which, I mean, the best time you play the hand, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't, yeah, I can't remember the specifics, but um, and then I went out until like round five or six when I played against Eldlich, and yeah, just I think it was like a couple of TTs that hit me hard. Probably could have played a little bit better that matchup, I think, but I don't know, it was like the. The thing I don't like about 60 is just obviously seeing less side deck cards and uh, I guess without seeing, um, uh, what do you call it, right against that deck, I feel like it's fairly hard to play through the, the you know, the Intimidating back row. Yeah. yeah I think most decks um, just struggling to out though. It's one of those like trap decks, if you don't see it on the engine, you kind of just, it's grim. I agree. I agree. I think I was in a, in a really weird place because it should be all right because like, everyone's playing combo everyone like skill drains are free but like the brave engine is also good against back row which yeah. is which is rough That's so like good. yeah now, there's other things like those brave decks they generate so much follow-up like our deck the brave tanny deck so it's one of those that Eldritch has a very hard time breaking with traps because even if, when they break with traps you kind of just die the turn after yeah exactly but yeah, uh, and I think I won the last round, so I finished X2 again. It's so a bottom X2 grounding achievement right there. Yeah, uh, my turn, I wasn't bad. I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at yeah. that's, it. That's, it. Nice. That's, it. that's a contribution to the day. But yeah, af after that, then, so Marcus gracefully invited us to his uh house to stay at. So he lives in Bristol which uh for those who don't know geography is on the way back to reading <laughs> take that american which meant <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> which meant we didn't have to do the two hour journey back and then the basically two hour journey on sunday then to chop them so it was like super handy to be able to crash our heads and not do long journeys either way um and he took us out for to dinner to this really nice wow. persian place that was nice really nice i i tried yeah, to order something different <laughs> so so table, oh, yeah. trying to be have to be a team player man and it's all the same as everyone else you know <laughs> so our table was a five people ordering lab and i tried to order like a squid but i like, no, was like fine i'll take a lab <laughs> six, yeah. six lamb actually oh, the, the, funny, the, the funny part was when the waitress was like we have to check if we have, to have enough lamb for everyone and he's come back he's like we have the lamb but we don't have yours <laughs> the how <laughs> punish that's kind of funny yeah, it was sick. It was sick. So, uh, I, then... Actually, on, on Saturday, I went because uh, I went to the event of the Brotherhood guys because uh, they, they had a car drive and they're only going to Cheltenham. So I crashed at Caden's place on Saturday and we just like play test like three or four hours. So it was pretty cool. Also very handy because trains to Cheltenham are like 50 pounds and the event starts at 10. And it's like a chore nah. train. So like, <laughs> you're good. You're so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> even if I wanted to get a train, I don't think I would get there in time because the earliest train doesn't like the earliest train like gets to Cheltenham the moment the tournament is meant to start. So nah, that was, was huge. Uh, huge shout out to all of them. Really saved my ass. <laughs> Definitely. Now we're all like really cool people as well. So. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, everyone's lovely. <laughs> Super cool time. It's it's just so different though because I'm used to going to events with you guys like all the time. It's so different <laughs> to be with a different group of people. But it's, it's the exact same thing, I guess. Like just you, your players. You, like... see, you, see them, you see them every week, more or less, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, nah. I just love it. It's just like it's the same things of like yes, I'm sleeping on the couch. Yes, uh, I'm eating take <laughs> take away on the floor, and I'm playing like five hours and fucking up my necklace the day before. Like yep, it's yep. the Sounds exactly right. same thing. Yeah, that was me on Friday. <laughs> I'm not yet. I, I have played, sorry, I have played like two games with um, the Destiny Hero engine and I drew um, Celestial Dasher, uh, Roxy drew Destiny Fusion. 
and then pranks through destiny fusions. So I was like, nope, nope, not doing this, not doing this. <laughs> it was so cursed. That's fair. So, so yeah, so I guess that's mainly it for Saturday. So Sunday is the event we all played at Cheltenham. Uh, that place is cursed. Every time we go there, the weather is awful. Oh yeah, it was so Paddles before bad. you get in. Well, I've only been there. I've only been there twice, and yes, the weather has been yeah, atrocious. Both times, so, yeah, both times. I didn't actually realize it was the same one that we went that day because the the, 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 the time we went on 20, 9, 2020. Yeah, it it was like it was like a windstorm or some shit in the yeah. UK. Because we it was me, you, and Betty, right, Leon, and Marcus. Oh, and Marcus, and Marcus, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, like, the, the, it was, the weather was so bad that our car was, like, swindling through the road. <laughs> I think there was, like, a, another three more people that were supposed to come, but... Uh, yeah. Not, not yeah. I, I, drive and the others didn't want to go. I, I, I dipped the fuck out of that. <laughs> to be honest, correct decision. Actually, correct decision at the time. Ah. But, yeah, so we went to Cheltenham. At least it's very... The, okay. the, the place is small. It's like a pub, but it's very close to, like, food places. So yeah. you, have, you have a lot of options. Uh, it's, it's, like a, it's actually their shop or is it a pub that they use for the, the weekend I, I think like they have a shop and they like host events in that pub that's that's my that's cool yeah but they have a stock there though like that's the thing yeah, like, yeah it was like all set up like properly yeah like, is it, like, is it like a, studio stuff as well like yeah yeah is it like a gaming bar maybe like a gaming pub I've... maybe it's that maybe it is yeah it was it was know. a strange place it is yeah. It, 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 fit, it gave us what we needed then. Again, spacious, yeah. like so they spacious, had fucking yeah. speakers for oh. announcing the judge stuff. Nah, it, it was the judges running around with their fucking radios. That oh, just, it, just kills, <laughs> it just kills me. Like the head judge, oh, I forgot his name again. Uh, Alex, but like Alex. Alex, yeah. So he's just like talking to the radio, like we have a judge call. <laughs> 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 Too funny. And nah, the, uh, the timers they had up for the first few rounds were quite different as well. Yeah. <laughs> they had timers. Do you know, there was those plastic things. I don't even know how they were. I didn't see them. Like, they, oh, like, like they, an egg timer kind of thing, right? Yeah, egg timer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, none of my matches went like close to time on Sunday. I think I finished all my games in like 20 minutes. It was so stress-free. The whole tournament ran really quickly. Like, yeah. It was really... It went so quick. It, 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 small regionals nowadays, like, really just runs mostly. Uh, the time rules are awful, but in, in awful. the sense of making tournaments run faster, it definitely works. Because, like, it's night and day before and after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd agree uh, with that. Nah, so, I because I, I, round one, but, like, there's some things. Like, round one, I played on a table, but the table's like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was table one. And, like, so I... I had to, I got deck checked um, around five or six, and apparently my sleeves were dodgy, so I changed them. So it was like new non matte sleeves. So I put it down on, on the board, I just slid. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. It's funny. Right. But the, the event actually was, I would say, like fairly stacked in terms of players. Yeah. Like or 70, what was it called? Yeah, about 80 people. And J Wo had a comment. He was like, yeah. Yeah, J Wo basically said, uh, this is basically like, Half of the top card at UK Nats. Nah, it was it was, it was pretty stacked. Like yeah. had everyone, everyone was there. Like pretty recognized by name from this part of the UK. So, mm -hmm. It was That's fun. Good. I felt like my the the average level of my opponents was best better than most UK regionals. Some yeah, regionals I agree. Just play some people that like don't know what, yeah. exactly what's happening. But, nah, it felt good. Felt good. Felt rewarding. Um, so oh, so what well, I guess I, I guess we go over my tournament. So I played Seb round one, okay. Um, so, so okay. you played him round two, right? Moff? Yeah, <laughs> he, he literally played the pile guy deck like twice yeah. in a row. And then he played, he played Zeki like round three or four as well. So he's like, I love brave tokens. By the end what of the day. Bullshit have I signed up for today? So I played him. I played a Prankets guy, so I chose him. I played Alex Robertson, so it's so. Then I played Henry, so another Prankets that I lost. Then I played another Prankets that I won. Then I played Striker, which I won. And there's the Prankets guy that I lost for the most bullshit hand ever. Like actual like top five bullshit Yu-Gi-Oh! hand, we call it that one. Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah. Game two and three, to be honest. Yeah. I can't remember what happened in game two. Um, 
Na, g- Would... Game two, uh, I twent, I, t- I twent. Pitch, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He negated with Griffin. Then I have twin pitch Aquamancer, ne- uh, Banish two. So I have like souls in hand, and I have Aquamancer and Grave. And the only card that he has left, it's an interrupt. It was his pranks draw, but his pranks drew Lancia. Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't use the Aquamancer. So effect. rough. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's no, what. Did you have a tuner what, in hand yeah. as well, right? I had souls. So I, oh. I, I mean, it's, yeah, probably by that probably, point. He was, he probably. was probably drawing a tuner. He also like eighty. Even if you don't draw a tuner at that point, like I make DP and like it, it was fine. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, all under good. control until he was like, Lance, I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> nah, An established yeah, DP rough. against pranks with no meow is yeah. curtains. Exactly. Uh, uh, I think the game three was even worse though, oh right? Oh god, like, yeah. Nah. my hand was like insane game three, but his hand was legit like three hand traps. And I, it was, he ashed something. He ashed the Souls draw, I let it go, I had call by. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna hold this for like Ogre Nib or like Valor Nib. But he had exactly Imperm Nib. So I'm like, okay, even if this happens, I have call by for the kid. But then he goes right, and then Normal Summon was a kid, so it doesn't work. Nah, rough. It's just, so just, rough. Just, just Yu Gi Oh! happens. Yeah, just Yu Gi Oh! But, but nah, that, that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, even if I had to sweat every single round, because shuffling my deck is an actual workout. <laughs> 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 I don't even know if I can play. If I play this week, I probably would have to play it with, without being double sleeved. I injured, yeah, I, think my you finger, <laughs> I, I injured my finger on volleyball training yesterday, so like oh. I actually don't think I'm. I can physically shuffle, like again. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, how, nice. how was your guys' tournaments? Yeah, well, so I played Tom Rose round one, who was playing a sixty card kind of Tom Rose deck, so Hive Lander, uh, Predator Plants meal cards you know the classic tom rose uh deck um and i lost that match unfortunately it was uh <clears throat> it was quite close until i guess i think he hired you scythe game three and i didn't know he was playing scythe or expect him to, to to summon it to be honest um but i think i did miss play a bit game one so i probably deserved it then game two i played against seb um who just played the same deck basically <laughs> so he was not happy to see me <laughs> Uh, again, I did a slight misplay where I kind of like, basically, I just pursued out of something help because I was like, if he has Ash, so I was unsure if he had a hand drop because he had like three cards he didn't use turn one, and I think he got to the point where it's just uh, like potentially okay. There's definitely one hand trap there, and I had two monsters. It was like just a tuner and souls. I think no no spells by that point because the blackout would pop the right. I think to be specific. And it was like, okay, if I summon Fiber here, it's game because I played Cop Wing, right? If it resolves, obviously. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I was like so stressed because I was like, if he has Imperm or Ash, the, the, or Vela, the Fiber's dead. But do I just summon Verte and at least I, I lose, don't lose to uh, Ash at least here? And so I ended up doing that. I didn't have any hand trap, so how could have been game? And he had enough follow up to basically push through the DP. I think he had Vashuda in hand. That's what the last card was. Um, so in hindsight, yeah, I should have just summoned the Hulk and that would have been game. So I started off 0-2, which is obviously not the best way to start, especially after I didn't do well enough yesterday. So I was a bit disappointed, you know, that post, oh, that post two loss depression when you know, oh, fuck's sake, you're not going to top, especially if you lose early. Yeah, that feels so bad, doesn't it? It's like, oh, wow. I've, I've like committed the whole weekend to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Literally. You see, you see everyone else around you as well. Everyone's playing. You're like, oh, I guess I gotta sit here for five more rounds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, well, I'm just gonna play on. Like, I wanna. I lot. I I knew like definitely it was the misplays. Like, sure, the deck is hard to pilot, and there's like the set scenarios you really have to think ahead. But like, you know, I did a fair amount of DB testing. I, I know fa- firsthand I did do enough misplays to not win, so I can't blame anything else. Apart from that, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna practice. You know try and get a bit better with the deck i wanted to so seven rounds so there was five left i was like okay, if i go five out at this point i'll be satisfied with you know enough like in terms of like i didn't do go oh three for instance yeah. and round three i play against jamie hunter so i'm like okay well one of us is going oh three yeah. oh, no. and uh so i did it was a very close game i did win that and then i did win out the rest um played against a few these players play like polly and a, a few other guys um so it wasn't like complete just domination um but yeah it was it was didn't go as well as i wanted but again i was happy enough to win back and like i said second to last x2 so slight increase improvement uh, from <laughs> yesterday we're, we're getting there we're getting there yeah uh, so. yeah i could go through my, my rounds 
So round one, I went played against Prank Kids. Uh, I was too old. I was pretty good. Pretty good game. Uh, game two, I remember I opened Cosmic Ash because he made me go first both both games. And I think I tried to go for a Dragoon line. He impermed it, and then I just set the Cosmic, had the Ash, and then I Cosmic the Fateful Adventure, Ash the Prank Kid, and then I was able to push the next turn. So yeah. And then round two was Invoked Omaka DPE. And ah. I was a. Yeah. The, uh, the Virgin Invoked deck. It's <laughs> <laughs> Chad Alistair. Well, I know it was a hard Drew Red Eyes Fusion and it resolved and it put him. <laughs> and then round three, I think round three was the Reaper. And I think I ended up going against JY. Uh, I was pretty lucky to open game one, I opened Nib Vela. And game two, I opened Nib Imperm. So yeah, it was a pretty quick game. Uh, round four, I think, was Polly was so so, and it was, I was my hands were just being cracked all, all day. I was just hoping to open all the hand traps. I remember game two, I opened Ash, Token Collector, Lancia, and I think Imperm. And his hand was good enough to make me force me out. To, and, and the last card was terraforming. And his hand was good enough to force me out to use all four hand traps. But I kept a Token Collector on the on the board because he drop pushed it. And then I drew my top deck for time was Red Eyes Fusion. And I knew the card in his hand was a shooter because I think he added it back with Adhara. And so, yeah, Red Eyes Fusion resolve and this was his game after that as well. And yeah, uh, poor Polly, I kind of I sacked him as well with the one of Nib with, with oh, as well. He was he was more game one. In. <laughs> that, I think that was after his loss to you. Yeah, oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> and then round was Round six, no, round five was Ashworth and his striker artifact deck. And that was, once again, Dragoon just putting work against that. And then round five was Unstoppable Bancroft, too strong. And then round six was Betty, and those are my two losses. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I feel like my I can't complain about the deck, deck putting, putting work and losing to teammates. I can't. It's yeah. kind of, even though... Those are, those are the kind of losses I can take because they know my deck the best anyway. So. That's fair they did negate Mech Knight's cards. Yeah. Although, <laughs> although, although Betty, Betty did put two monsters in the same column and that won me game. Oh, 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 oh. How? <laughs> <laughs> At least you, after, after you summoned it, he's like, I put that in the wrong place. I was like, yeah, she did. <laughs> I, I play around Mech Knight's against everyone just because of you. Like, yeah, you same. forced me into actively playing around Mech Knight's. <laughs> But there's, there's two ways to play around Mech Knights, and I think everyone knows the first way, but the second way, I don't think anyone really does. Because I'm summoning like, free cards in the zone. Well, no, 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 that's what that's that's, that's the that's that's the that's the BM way of playing around them. But <laughs> if you if you if keeping things under the EMZs is also helps. Because if if I can summon a Mech Knight without setting a card, then I'm happy. So yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Mac Knights are actually just called by the grave. You just hope to God they get interrupted with. And they they, they always get impermed and I love it, man. Like yes. <laughs> literally. They, you just imperm Cyber Dragon. But but now they're getting ghost ogre and I don't like it. Uh that's definitely a different gravy. Yeah. How was yours, Henry? Uh yes, my bed was was nice. Was um, it? I wonder. <laughs> it, was, it was chill. No, so um Round first two rounds, I played the UK special. I played Plunder and Flunder. Um, oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> Plunder was no Plunder was stress. Plunder was stress. So okay, so I sit down round one, feeling good. He were in side roll and he makes me start. So I'm already scared. The hand's really good. I end on um, well, I don't open grave. I'm brave, but I, I end on like do, sorry, doodle do pandemonium like ash over pass. He goes. Evenly matched, I see. Rides of Aramisha, I see. Effect pitch pitch plunder. I was like, ah, oh, this is an issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but David, the deck was like it. It wasn't terrible. It was it was fun. And I had Wait, did you win that game? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did yeah. because Ash is very good against plunder. You just hold it for as long as possible. And they go discard for like for your ships. You go Ash. You go, ah, I see. No more interrupts. Yes, yeah, so round one was fine. Round two, Flunder. That deck is terrible. But that deck is so bad. Um, I think game one, I opened Imperm, and he passed to Imperm, so I won. But then game two, I opened Imperm, Vela Ogre. So, um, he was, yeah, <laughs> go next, go next. <laughs> 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 is that Harry? Or? 
Uh, no, no, no. It was, yeah. it was some random. I mean, to be fair, both both sides. I've got fifteen hand traps for for Flunder. So like, it's it's rough. Um, then round three, I played against a prank mirror, which was very scary because he was playing super poly, and uh, that is pretty good of a mirror. In the mirror. I was like, ah, I see. <laughs> Uh, so that was rough, but uh, I won by roll, so I won the game. Um, had to play around Super Poly game three by not summoning off the last Branked effect, but that was fine. Then round four, what was I play round four? Um, oh, ah, yes, one? Gabriel Nets. <laughs> <laughs> Forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that free win. win. Oh, shit. That's all players have forgot about it. Oh, true. This game was so depressing. It was so depressing. I almost played uh, again. One to be fair, I don't think I should have used that pranks in hindsight. Yeah, no, I was so... thinking, if I resolve it, I get to Butler two hand traps, and like if you have Ogre, you're going pranks anyway. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's it's because I mean, I I asked something. I ogre pranks. Uh, Henry ends on Roxy's with one in hand. Yeah, yeah, I I had one set, one in hand. Yeah. Wait, one set. Yeah, because I I didn't permash. Oh, my hand. Point. So my hand was two two prankids fusion in permash. I normal kid like you asked oh, it. Oh yeah yeah. When I poly yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah nah. So then my hand is the Strudel, fusion destiny, and Bezo. So I'm like okay, I have fusion destiny. If it doesn't have Ash, I instantly win. If he has Ash, I just need to draw anything that I can normal summon because I can just like make Yazi uh, pop the pop the back row. Yeah. And like combo from there, and then he's out of cards. But I draw Mermer, and then Fusion Destiny gets ashed. And then, draw, and then he draws a prank it for turn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, what like, do you okay. want? I'm feeling your pain. I've drawn Mermer so many times. Oh my right? God. <laughs> I play six. Yeah, I'm not deserve. I don't deserve to draw Mermer. I already drew Basil. Like there's a certain amount of bad cards I accept to draw. Uh, oh. But yeah, no, the game two was arguably worse. To be fair. Now, okay, no, game two I played wrong. That's all right. Uh, like I could yeah. play through like three hand traps better than I did. Uh, just, nah, I was greedy. I saw Scythe. I was like, yes, Scythe. Scythe, Scythe for prank kids. It's gonna be game. I mean, <laughs> it's game if you like get DP. I don't know. I was, I was very, very greedy. Line. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we learned. That's what yeah, regionals are for, right? Exactly. exactly. It, it's just a regional. Still I mean, uh, I, would like to, I would like to have the switch. I won't lie. True. <laughs> Unlucky. Instead, he got <laughs> swifted. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, next. Sorry, um, I played against another prank kids player, and I won the die roll again. <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, so I win. I I had heard him though because game two. Um, I think you so. Drew, you drew the nuts game two. I remember. I drew the nuts games. game two. My hand was Gamma Ash Imperm Kid Rights. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, so I think the, the difference between like my kid lists and the others in the room is like everyone was playing like six hand traps. And I was like, how are you gonna win any games going second? Like yeah. going second, like every game I was like super comfortable. I was like, I've game one, I have like 40% chance to open two hand traps. And like game two, three, it's like over 50%. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, hand traps are good, smiley face. Which is why I played Talents and resolved it once for a whole weekend. <laughs> Very impressive. Nice tech building decision. Exactly. No, so um yeah, that was round five. Round six I played Leon. Um and Le Leon's hand was super unfortunate. Game one, he opened triple in triple invocation. No, no, I drew drew him to invocation for a turn. Oh, I was like, well, I, had, I had my yeah. only interrupt interrupt was nib, but yeah, he started opening up with the brave, so I did nothing. I had double invocation, I think a mech knight, uh Corobane and Nib. And then I drew invocation for a turn. It's like, yeah, literally summon, playing. You, you put two in the same column. I summon the blue sky. You ogled it, and then I just, yeah, just scooped. Rough, rough. Oh, yeah, but... Mac, uh, blue, uh, ogre being the format feels so bad for. Yeah, players. so bad for. Oh players. god, it's yeah. such a struggle. Yeah, I mean, game two, my hand was pretty good as well. It was like Butler Ash Ogre again. So. Yeah, I think I opened no hand traps, and then but I had like cards to play through, so I was just trying to play around the double regeki. But then, yeah, he played. He played around with like my pushes anyway, and then it was enough to break through it. Yep, kids, kids go in. And then game seven, so round seven was against the old DP um, Brave. I mean, like, it's not a terrible deck, but it wasn't good. Um, <laughs> he won roll. Sorry, yeah, he he won die roll. I ogred the fateful adventure, and he ended on DP, impermed it, and normal summon child. So that was game one. 
game two, he opened pretty badly, but he had anti spell, set a four pass. My hand was four spells good. So I was like, okay, set a four pass. Like, what's he going to top deck? He can't activate rights, fusion destiny, prosperity. All he has is owned. And so I just ashed the sanguine the next turn, just killed him. So, yeah, it, it was the stress the most like stress free regional i've ever played <laughs> it was it was very fortunate <laughs> yeah. Yeah, i feel like most rounds when i finish i come downstairs because you know i was in the shit area upstairs and henry, <laughs> henry would just be chilling down with his round I was like, are you with this yeah i was like oh sick <laughs> <laughs> i just threw right kids hand traps that's, kind of <laughs> that's what the deck's supposed to do exactly and they did it like <laughs> can't argue with the mouse exactly but, uh, 45 just 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 works the perfect it doesn't perfect trust trust it works it works <laughs> don't mean... talk about the extra deck ratios the extra deck is uh, oh yeah, yeah. That, yes. you know what? um i just took my list in 2019 i was like this is probably the extra deck <laughs> um, and then uh, going go going from complete ends of different ends of the spectrum from top in from winning the darts fair regional and getting no prize into winning this and getting what a switch in two boxes income gaming a shout out to, to yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. the pricing was crazy. I saw Ashworth's face when he got eighth place and they handed him a box. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? The UK? That doesn't happen. Now, yeah. If anyone deserves it, it is Henry because he, he, he is the guy that tops events with no prize whatsoever. Uh, thank you. Thank so you. I, no, I, 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 think, I think it's some justice. And now, now he's he now just, just, And he didn't have a bag big enough for the prizing. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so my like prizing bag was like, it was hedge. <laughs> Not to glow, obviously, but <laughs> it, it was hench. It, it, it was a big pressure Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think like, we, did, the world we, did, where we get on. literally regionals with no support. Like they must have given out like I don't know, mm, close to case. like seven, eight hundred pounds yeah. worth of prize. More or more. Right? Was, 80, was, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you include the mats and stuff as well, I guess the point not that. But yeah, close to a K or a K worth of prizing for an eighty man. Regional, yeah. that's actually insane. So massive shout outs to them. And that was very good. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was it. It was Sunday. Uh, we had to go back home mm -hmm. for our miserable lives on Monday, and had to proper prepare and do things. So how was the journey back? Because I heard we both, cause we didn't come back together. I came back <laughs> with the same guys that I, I came from, and you guys came back by ourselves. And I heard we have some some st stories on both ends. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> for very context before this the worst drive of my life was the first drive when we landed in america and driving on the right <laughs> side of the road scuffed. with I'll, a huge I'll, car i was scared for my life uh so this this drive is now the worst drive of my life um <laughs> I, I got i got a new car recently as well so i'm like still a bit like cautious about driving it because i don't want to damage it but not, not not in the sense of like super careful just you know it's not like it's not like my old Mazda where I'll just be like fuck it we'll go this way or whatever and be fine uh and we were like I hate it when Google Maps does this they take you on a way that's like I just want to go on the motorway and just drive on the motorway but they're like oh no go down these like B roads and like you'd save like two minutes time and this like was, I didn't this check was not it. a B road this was like a D road, <laughs> D road. <laughs> I think we might have gone through the same place. Because no, no, no. no one, no end. one went. Wait, there, we actually, went. no one went when we no went. went, when we we went. went. <laughs> you will find out soon. We, we, we oh, find out. So right. we got to like we were on a dual carriage right? and I actually was like, oh, it was like a few, and then there was like we, everyone was slowing down, and there was this police car that drove past us, and it was like road closed on the back of it. We were like, what the fuck? The road isn't closed. We're like driving on it right now, but then we realised it was as we approached, there was a light, so it was like clearly a crash. So the road was blocked, but conveniently the crash was right before a petrol station. So we're like, oh, we're just going to the petrol station. And uh, you could tell it probably wasn't going to clear it for a while. Like this crash, you know, could have been, I don't know, if whoever was involved was all right. And I asked the guy when I got the petrol was, oh, is there another way to get around here? And he's like, yeah, just go under the bridge and then just left and keep going that way. I was like, oh, sure, let's just tr trust him, you know. <laughs> and checks on Google Maps. I think we just kind of winged it. We're like, fuck it, let's just see where this way goes. Um, and you could tell everyone was kind of doing the same thing because there was like, everyone was like, fuck it, let's just hope for the best. And then we're like, we got under this bridge, under the A road, and just kept on going. And like, it was getting like, the roads were getting thinner and thinner. And it was just like, we didn't know where we we're going. Like cars, were just, there were the like, hills like this. It was just so like so random ass village roads, dark. 
And then like we had we had to stop on the side of the road, the cars are going past us. And then we're like, I was trying to look at Google Maps and we're like, fuck it, let's just go this way because it looks like we can join into the roads. And we were the only one going this way. So that should have been like a <laughs> tell on itself to not go that way. But I was like, fuck it. And then another tell came in which said road ahead closed. But I was like, nah, it can't really be closed, right? There's like a path to go was, down this way. It was like leaned up against the wall as well. It wasn't like a proper <laughs> sign. Look, if anything, it like someone took down a sign and put it against the wall kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. That, I'll use that as justification. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so we kept on going. It was like really thin road where like, and it was just like grass and there was like one or like two houses and it was super dark and like, I was just like, if another car comes, I don't know what the fuck you do. Cause literally there's nowhere to pull in or anything. And then we kept driving and we got to like a stop. It wasn't even like the road was closed. It just wasn't a road, right? It just wasn't yeah. any more road. It just wasn't any more <laughs> like road. A, like a blockade or something. Like, it was yeah, weird. it was, it was weird. And then we were like, okay, how do we turn the car around? Cause we've driven like a mile on this road and I, I'm, I'm not confident in reversing in this new car for like a mm. mile. <laughs> This road was like rocks. Yeah, this road was thin. There was rocks. There was like really wet grass. Yeah, and so we we found like an uh, we'll call it a line, right? We found (laughs) found a line. We found the line. (laughs) line. This manager Betty (laughs) going. But shout out to Betty. He was MVP outside the car, directing us the whole time. Um, And we tried to get in, and it was wet as well because it'd been raining. Obviously, living in the UK, right? And then second we went into the grass, the wheels just got stuck. And I was like, fuck, like, is this like where we break down in the middle of nowhere? No signal. There's no way a rescue car can come and get us or whatever. It was just, it would have been fucked, right? It would have been game over. And luckily we managed to pull ourselves out. And at the time I was just like, oh, fuck, what happens now? How do we get out? Because we couldn't get turned around. And I was like, we're going to have to just reverse for like a mile and Betty's going to have to guide us. And we got for like two minutes in and Betty somehow found a, a turning. And we managed to turn around, get out of there. And I was like, oh my God, thank the fucking Lord. Oh, thank I was like, at this point, I don't care if we have to go back to the A road and wait like yeah. two hours for the police to go. I was like, as long <laughs> as we're not stuck here. As long as we're not stuck in like, some, like <laughs> someone's backyard where it's like pitch black. It was fun. No yeah, there could have been like serial killer, I swear. Like yeah. the, the whole, I don't like, know about you guys, but I area. had no signal as well. Yeah, same. I, oh, I yeah. had no signal. I was like, oh, I don't know where we are. I didn't have to get out of here. Literally had no signal yeah. until we got back on onto the what's it, it was Joe Carroll's way or whatever when we finally got out of there. But yeah, we yeah, made a way out and eventually got back on. But it was for like a good like 20, 30 minutes. It was like unknown what could happen basically. So all right, you guys thought it is more exciting than mine. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had we had some issues because the same thing. Like, it was like crash or anything. The Google map just told us to go into like those weird roads and we followed blindly. I mean, he, Brian followed blindly. I was not driving. I was on my phone. <laughs> and I, then I look it up. I, I look up like, we're like, it's pitch dark. Yeah. Like not a single light. And we're, we're starting to go like uphill and the car just stops like, it doesn't want to keep going. You can see it's like losing power. And, oh, and no. can, I, I had the exact same thought process you guys have like, if it's if it breaks here, there's no way a rescue car can reach this shit. So like it it, it took us like I swear like five minutes to go like something that's like slightly uphill. I'm like okay, we're done here. <laughs> like because and then like we, we finished that one. There's like another one, like a steeper one. I'm like <laughs> oh no stress. Uh yeah, no lights, no anything, just, just going. No one had reception. We were like, can we check to go with you back to the motorway? Everyone tried, no one got reception. But we, we got out of there. Uh, it was like, like it was, we drove like 40 minutes on country roads and I was terrified. Yeah. But yeah, once we're back in the main road, it's just fine. Also, funniest thing, the whole the whole thing, trip from there to London, like, I don't know, 90 miles, 100 miles, is like an, an hour, 10. And then in London, to do 15 miles, is like an hour. Sounds about right. Like Welcome to driving. London. Literal hell. Because like, oh, bro, Brian was so nice because he dropped us like near uh, Brotherhood. So it's like a walkable yeah. distance for me. Brian's really but, nice. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, oh my God, how does it take like an hour to do 15 miles? I hate this. Thing. <laughs> it's Sunday night. <laughs> like actual Sunday night. Nah, uh, we, we got there. We survived. Yeah. I was, I was... a bit of a cold. We survived. <laughs> good, good. No, um... Yeah, it was a, it was a good weekend. Just, just yeah. wanted to uh, point out on on Sunday for the 
the four of us that topped it was myself um obviously gabriel leon and betty i think there was between us only one loss that wasn't to each other if that makes sense so leon okay. only lost Doesn't to mean... yeah in fact it was cringe as well yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not taking the blame on that one you yeah. watched that game i was that's what's like, on my hands i was like gabriel's one look at his hand it's crazy I've had hand traps more yeah, Zach, Betty lost to Gabe. I lost to you and Betty, and Gabe lost to you. And Henry lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine losing. Yeah, <laughs> cringe. Couldn't be me. <laughs> yeah, so, Definitely uh, me. Just, just the early rounds though. After and round three or four, yeah, the reverse of Betty. <laughs> but now it was an insane performance, like by the team. Even like with me and Sam not pulling our weight, you guys uh, did exceptional. Yeah, Sam I'm guess for everyone. Sam took for your bad luck, so we could succeed. It's it's a vibe. Sam, Sam didn't come into the weekend with a positive vibe. He didn't have he any didn't. energy. He didn't. He, he was... accepted the feat before having the feat. <laughs> Sam, 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 playing PK. <laughs> true. That deck is, That's also true. deck is tragic. I can't believe people from that deck. It's catastrophic. Sam <laughs> built his deck, so he didn't have to get the middle seat again as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the middle seat drama. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh we've got a critic about that. So. Uh, yeah, my car is like decently sized, but like like most cars, the middle seat is pretty, yeah, right. Um, and then we, what was it on the drive back from the regional on Saturday? Yeah. We were, I would like to make it interesting. It's like, okay, whoever does the best gets the front seat. Whoever does the worst gets the middle seat. And of course, Moffat and... was there being the driver. So this is yeah, yeah, <laughs> <come on. laughs> the driver. He's like, <laughs> where was we gonna go? <laughs> I'm sure, and, uh, I'm sure after, after you lost, you would have been a bit more sweat, sweat a bit more if you knew it was going to be in the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the stress of driving was very, in that situation we just talked about was worse than the middle seat. I'll, I'll commit to that. Yeah. But so yeah, Henry wins. Henry comes second. Sorry, so he obviously gets the front seat. Sam uh, unfortunately dropped, so he got the middle seat. And uh, I think it's fair to say it was quite tight and uncomfortable in the back. <laughs> I mean, I was comfortable. I don't know about Betty. <laughs> yeah, yeah poor, <laughs> Betty was Betty. Worst, but... squished by Sam. Sam was complaining for a whole drive. It was hilarious. I love how every podcast just becomes like us shit talking Sam, even when he's, on, he's never here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just never like here. a constant Sam roast. Every podcast is the tourist with this. And he's also got the highest in the YCS yeah. from one of us. Sam isn't bullied, trust. He is loved. He is loved here in the cycles. It, 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 for sure. It, it, it's tough love. It, it's, it's, it, it's it, tough got love. A, it got to balance itself out for whatever was at YCS. To be fair, I think if anyone knew Sam, they would understand. Yeah, why, exactly. Why, why you <laughs> Literally, you just need to talk to her. <laughs> Zeus, <laughs> don't. They make me laugh every time. It fucking kills me. Actually, this kills me. Oh my god, we're like in an hour already. I, I told you yeah. guys we would have topics for this week. We actually we had didn't, topics. We didn't even the go double regional the weekend list. where people do well is is good content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good and then content. content for the whole week as well, the profiles, etc. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's cool. We have everything. So we have a lot of stuff coming this week, content-wise. Uh, I guess uh, we can use the podcast now as like the, the schedule for the week. So we have my deck profile coming out tomorrow, and then on Thursdays we have Thursday we have Lee, uh, sorry, Daddy's deck profile, yeah. as well as that is on Cup round three because Great. we don't talk about round two. Round two. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Didn't happen. Cam- Cameras, oh. yeah, camera issues. Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, it was yeah. that round. I see. Yeah. It's round three. It's Moffat and Tristan. So, very, very good game. What happened? Uh, good. Uh, and then we have a deck profile on Friday, which is Marcus's, I think. I think it's Diva Hero. Yeah. Marcus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, a lot, a lot of stuff coming on this week. Uh, hope that you guys have to watch the podcast also. Go there, like, subscribe. It, it helps us doing more stuff. We're very excited of actually being pretty consistent this last month. Uh, considering everything we've but like it's like the month on youtube we had like times five the amount of hours than any other month of all of your youtube stuff mm. i was looking at analytics today so it feels very cool yeah what a surprise having Yu Gi Oh events means you can make content <laughs> crazy uh, uh, everyone's just more excited right like we have more stuff to talk yeah. about yeah. We, we all want we are playing like more content, yeah we're all right? playing it's a new format as well even yeah it's the first first region of the new format you know yeah yeah Nah, it's, yeah. it, it's sick, it's sick. Uh, hopefully we get more tops and more stuff we can do for yeah. the next couple of weeks. Hopefully people somehow forget Scythe exists in the, okay. in the format. Um, so, 
how many times has have all of you got gotten scythed this weekend? Because I'm interested. Because I haven't got scythed on Sunday. Okay, so I got scythed once for a whole weekend. <laughs> that was the game I lost. <laughs> I think I got scythed. Yeah, zero times. I think two times I did have droplets for the DP or the scythe, and then I think I scythed people in total about f- three or four times across. What's that total rounds? Thirteen. No, 15, uh, 15 rounds. <laughs> so, not many. Yeah. It's kind of mad when you think about it. Like, we all complain about Scythe. It is bad, but I think it doesn't actually happen it's that often. Nana. Yeah. So, Sam got Scythe, I believe, 10 times over the weekend. Because he was Scythe four times on Saturday and six times on Sunday. You know why? Because he's playing PK. <laughs> he's true. Like playing the true. Hand traps, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow, PK. Yeah, like, you admit, deck... <laughs> when you put yourself in the position of playing PK, you admit that your deck is gonna scythe your opponent or you're gonna get scythed oh, there's bad. no in between i got scythed once but it didn't matter because i still yeah. won the game yeah, it's, it's i watched that game that game was funny oh, yeah, yeah. In- invoked beating sky striker just feels good just... it does feel very yeah. i can't wait for a couple of weeks when pk is out of the format yeah, yeah. go ahead Kim, yeah, we, can, we can stop like stressing about pk because even though <laughs> we all hate pk I, I think pk is the deck that i hate playing against the most I'm do you think pk prank it prank it Nah, think... pr- prank it, I, I, I like games have interaction, like you hand trap, you hand trap back, PK I feel like, Fair or I draw two hand traps and I win, or I don't and I lose, like my input doesn't really matter. Of course, there's some nut hands of prank it just shit on you, but it's definitely a better experience than playing PK. You think PK is not on a deck of Scythe's band or something? What? I feel like people I feel like people still play it though. I feel people will still play it The end board's so shit. It's the so board, shit. Like, two fog blade and like DP. Like, no, so so compared to Gabriel's deck, like the the pile, so PK plays forty cards and about fifteen garnets. When you think, <laughs> when you think about it, it is about fifteen garnets. It is terrible. It's it's not the one. Mer Mer is a better garnet than Phantom Light Wing. I'm sorry. True. Every I would rather open Draco back than win. Bro, Draco back is fucked. You can go like uh, Vishuda, make Monk, bounce one, Draco back, bounce one. <laughs> the amount of people that took a quick Draco back to Mandib token and bounce Mandib. Uh... You can do that? Oh, you can. That's crazy. <laughs> you discover <laughs> something new. Did you know, did you know the journey triggers on uh, both player summons? Yes, yeah. because because um my um journey got ashed for like the, the uh, search effect for some reason. I was like, why? Yeah, then, you on uh, summon search? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he just I, pressed the button. He's like, <laughs> and I like, I like wash it back cards. I was like, oh wait, I can't pay for the venture. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So yeah, I think it's me lit. We're like over an hour now. Um, mm-hmm. You guys have anything else to add? No, no, really. Just been a great weekend. Yeah, just yeah. enjoying. Games Even though I did shit, I still had a great time. And, uh, it wasn't like true on both, both ones. It wasn't like shit. Like, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. shit. Like. Yeah, I think you're not getting a top though from two when you yeah. put the work into the it's, deck. Just a bit bad. Fair. But yeah, it's not terrible. But true. Like, Moffat you know, isn't nice is a certified top. online. Can yeah. top. Yeah. Literally. Remote fair. ICSs for free, but not, not the UK regionals. <laughs> the UK regionals. Although this regional is actually hard, I think. Like, uh, compared to most as we talk, like, this is actually a hard regional. So, yeah. Nothing yeah. playing playing combo decks that regional is like another thing as well. Like, yeah, especially this combo deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like yeah. janky. I'm excited for the profile tomorrow. Yeah. I know. I know. One 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 thing I would say is that going second against all these different brave decks is was quite an experience because like they all start the combo the same way, but they all they swerve in all different directions. You just don't know what to expect. <laughs> like it was it was madness. Uh, whenever I was combo, people were just looking like. What's what happens next? Yeah, <laughs> then you go like Mer, like is when he asks someone's Mer, Mer, you just see like the face of panic. Like they know it's not gonna end up well, but they don't know exactly how or what's gonna happen. Like what? I would panic if I saw Yazi someone. No, Yazi someone Mer, yeah, Mer, 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 like oh, nothing good can come from Yazi <laughs> someone Mer, Mer, right? <laughs> nah, it's sick. All right, so shout out to the sponsors, Card Market, MetaMat, uh, and Brother Games. Love oh, games apparel. <laughs> uh, shout out to Discord for bailing on us today. This is why this is recorded on Google Meet. Because oh, Discord yeah. <laughs> just has rooting issues the moment you want to record. And yeah, shout out to all the guys that I traveled with. Uh, everyone was lovely. Thanks so much for the ride. And yeah, I think that's me lit. Uh, unless you guys want to add anything.
No, thanks for watching, guys. Team No Cap. Team No Cap. Team No Cap <laughs> represent. No cap. Two out of three. Two out of three. Pretty good. Well, they do. All right. All right. See you guys next week then. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Oh, uh, I was closing the call instead of closing the recording. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>